Last week we did a uh, we we uh, dedicated the show the show to the fallen the, officer who uh, was killed by the mob. You know who? Yes. You know died mm. during the riot. Correct. Right? And we it, the drink was called the fall the fallen soldier. There's another officer. His heroic acts have uh, earned him a promotion. Yes, actually. absolutely. Yes, yes. Okay. And that would be Mr. Eugene Goodman. Yes, he was He was definitely keeping the crowd off, man. He was out there going, fighting with him and everything. I say, whoa, brother. I had a break in my own home. What? What? What was this? This was, this was, I never told y'all about this. No. You haven't, man. Oh, Lord. Well, let me get the gack. Okay, I'm, let me get the gack. I'm coming over. I had somebody come in the house. Now, mind you, I'm upstairs in the bed. I'm oh, sleeping. You told but, me about this, man. Why'd you go tell ahead, me about ahead. this? Okay. Right, right, right. So I, I'm in the bed and I'm sleeping. And then something wakes me up. Like something, I, I feel a force waking me up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Like I'm trying to stay asleep. You know, you know how you get in those moods where you're in the bed, you sleep, but you have to get up and you don't really want to get up. Mm -hmm. But there's just enough around you to make you get up. This was one of those nights. Mm -hmm. So I remember being in the bed and I'm being forced out of my sleep. And as I'm looking at the door, I see the door slowly move open and I see an eye in the doorway between the door jam and the door itself. And then that eye makes contact with my eye. And I shout out, yo! And all you hear is, boom! Out the door. I can't really remember how this person got in, but they were at my bedroom door while I was asleep. I was scared, and that was one person in my house. Mm -hmm. I can't begin to imagine what it was going through his mind when you have hundreds, if not thousands, of people. Mm -hmm. Right on with that. You have a bolt. You have a gun on your hip. Okay. Most guns maybe hold what twenty bullets tops. Give or take. Automatic, yeah. Mm -hmm. You may be able to carry another four or five clips on your belt tops, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So at minimum, you're only going to be able to drop a hundred of those people, and there may be a thousand, two thousand, three thousand people outside. I can't begin to imagine what was going through his mind, what he was feeling. To say that men don't get scared, I, I'm telling you right now, that's some complete other bullshit. So, Mr. Goodman, I tried to get you a bottle of 1738. Oh, my. They were mm -hmm. out. Ah. I was upset. However, However, there's always a second choice. Yes. Okay. And the good thing, the bright side of this is that the second choice is something that we've never, ever done on this show. Okay. As a matter of fact, I never, ever, ever go down this side of the aisle in the store mm. until, yest until yesterday. Okay. So I'm sorry I couldn't get you that 1738, Mr. Goodman, but I got you a bottle of Martell. Ooh, mm. Martell Blue Swift. Cognac. Cognac, baby. Very nice. So I hope it is an appropriate substitute. I look. I, I'm not really a cognac drinker, but we're going to start with it today. Oh my God! Is this a world exclusive? Just for you, absolute world excuse, exclusive. <laughs> world exclusive by Mr. Absolute GPS. Absolute world exclusive. All right. Well then, okay? let's let's get it cracking. Let's get it cracking. This is a world exclusive. Even walking down the aisle, because I never go down here. Mm. Mm. First time for everything. But here I am. Yes, you is. All right. Uh, Cortez, not a bad choice, so, I think. I think that's a good choice. Man, hey, just imagine, I agree with you. He was, but we did not mention that the people at the Capitol building, they were a bunch of racist, mm -hmm. <laughs> racist, you know, militia groups. They could have took him out quick. Yeah, they could have. But he stood his ground. He, he stood, stood his ground, ground and, and he, fought back. He diverted the group to another section of the building and keeping them away from Congress. So, so definitely major props, major absolute props goes to Mr. Eugene Goodman. You know, we appreciate your service, sir. We thank you for what yes, you sir. did. And, and we hope you get all the many blessings that you do deserve. And uh, I'm telling you, it, it, you know, it would have been a lot of a 
worse situation if he wasn't there. No, this ain't this ain't no movie, folks. It's not a movie where you got one guy taking on fifty people at one time. Yeah. You got to be systematic on how he did what he did. Cause I, I, I don't care how many years of martial arts you had, how many mm-hmm. background and training, whatever. You're not built to go against that many that that certain amount of people like that. That's a lot of people. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. So uh, with uh, no further ado, GPS, go right ahead. Clean glass. Clean glass. Oh my God. That's four fingers. That's four, that looked like three and a half fingers. Oh, said there. Yeah, that's going three and a half fingers. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> he probably had five up, okay? <laughs> oh, man. But I'm quite sure at the end of that day, you know, after he got finished, mm-hmm. you know, doing all the interviews he had to do, right. to, you know, giving statements and reports, this, that, and the third, when he finally made it home, and said, wow, you know, did what really happened today really happen? Mm-hmm. I'm sure it was bigger than this. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know what he, I mean, again, I don't, we don't know what he drinks. You know, they haven't really interviewed him like that. But I'm quite sure this is at minimum what he took when he got home and hit his knees. Okay? Probably, but just, oh, make, just, just don't spill just it, did the whole bottle, so, Mr. Goodman, man. this is for you. Because I'm trying to tell you, they would have found me. In the janitor closet, hiding under all kinds of cleaning. <laughs> okay, I want to come out. God. I might have just come out of the box today. Man, all and right. that was with one person in my door, and you had thousands. You are really the man. Okay, okay? and and once again, the name this of this drink, is sir. For you. This it is looks Martel good, man. Cognac. A uh, Martel Cognac. Blue Swift. Yeah, it looks real good, man. Yes, it does. Blue Swift. Okay, so here we are, the world exclusive by Mr. GPS, a Martel Cognac. Blue Swift. Cheers. That's it, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you better say. Gee, oh my God. Oh, Damn, that's okay. half the glass, bro. Ooh, you gonna it he's off, gonna man. feel it. I think I have to ramp up yeah, the show now. You ain't gonna mess with it, are you? Go ahead, man. Say it. How was it? You see. Well, that's I deep, man. I never seen you stop before. Mm. Well, I never seen you stop to. before, man. He wasn't going I to. Wasn't. I wasn't going to. Okay. However. But I'm quite sure when you have a day like that, the first thing you got to do is get you a hit. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you have to ask yourself, did I really see what happened today? Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. And he did. And then you say, yeah. And then he goes for another one. Whoa! Good grief. That's what I'm saying. He drank the whole bottle, man. Um, the whole bottle. Don't, well, don't do listen, that right now. We got to go through the rest of the show. He may have, okay? Because mm-hmm. they had to give him some time off. I Look, yes. Yes. take a couple days because you're going to need it. Mm-hmm. You really got to come down off of that. But now let me let me interject okay? this real quick. He actually had the honor to escort Madam Vice President Kamala Harris during the inauguration. Yes, Dude, he did. I was so proud of him. Yeah, man. I was I was so happy. I was like, wow. As a matter of fact, as I understand it, he is the new sergeant in arms for security. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, okay? sir. So whatever he was making before as a capital cop, Cha-ching. I think you could put a one in front of it. Couple extra Because that's probably where he is. Okay? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Definitely. So I want to say kudos, congratulations, Mr. Goodman. You're the man. That's right. Yeah. All day. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Good man. Did an excellent job. Best thing about it too, man. It just let us know that it was some. It was some good cops there at the Capitol with the Capitol Police, mm-hmm. man. Keep in mind, mm. they they did fire a few of them. They yes, did they fire did. a few of them, which I expected. And rightfully so. Correct. Well, yeah, some of the stuff they were doing. Where I'm at the stake. <laughs> <laughs> it's kicking in. It's kicking in. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs>